Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will discuss about height of projectile, time of flight and range of projectile. In the previous video I have previous I have discussed with you about the projectile motion and how to calculate total velocity of projectile in which I previously discussed horizontal velocity, vertical velocity and angle of incident um, between, the, in between the projectile motion and two velocities. Now uh, we will discuss with or with you in order to determine the maximum height of projectile we need to use this relation because of motion 2as is equal to vf square minus vi square and in this case you can see that uh, when, when this body moves upward uh, from the point O to A and in the uh, its velocity is known as initial velocity Vi making some angle theta. So we need to find the height first of all when body moves from the initial point and when it become to the maximum height it will stop velocity will be zero at some instant for some instant velocity will be zero and initial velocity will be Vi. So acceleration will be minus g because it is moving upward against the gravitational pull that is why we will apply minus sign and uh, in this case we will say that vi in this case we will say that in our initial velocity will be vi y is equal to vi sine of theta and final velocity will be vfy is equal to zero because at some uh, at maximum height velocity will be zero for some time so we at, uh, at maximum height we will stop that and we need to find the maximum height of the projectile motion so we, we will put these uh, condition in this equation then the answer will be 2as is equal to vf square minus vi square so in this case acceleration is due to gravity minus g uh, s is height and vf square is 0 minus vi square vi sine of theta whole square and in the next line we will definitely find out the velocity or uh, height of the projectile motion minus 2 gs minus 2 g h is equal to minus v i square sine square theta so minus will cancel out in both sides and the height will be we can get the height h is equal to v i square sine square theta and this 2 g will go to the other side and will be uh, divided to g so this is the height of projectile motion if we want out the uh, want out the maximum height we are asked to find out the maximum height of projectile motion so what will the be the answer or at, uh, in the in the entry test they can ask us at what angle what will be the height of projectile motion or what will be the height of maximum height how can we find that so at theta is equal to 90 degree when theta is equal to 90 degree then the height of projectile will be h is equal to vi square sine square theta over 2g and theta is 90 degree vi square sine square 90 over 2g and this sin 90 we know that sin 90 is 1 v i square over 2 g so at this angle the height of projectile will be maximum and in the next time next we will find out the time of flight of projectile motion time of flight may be defined as time taken by a body to cover a distance from its initial position time taken by a body to cover a distance from its initial position 
to the final position when it hits the ground. At this moment, this time of flight can be calculated when we need to uh, know about the initial point and final point and the gap between these two points. The gap means time taken by a body from its initial to the final point. For, in order to solve this, we need to understand that we are not considering height or distance because we only focus about time, initial velocity and angle. So in, in order to solve this, we will use the expression of equation of motion S is equal to VIT plus half a t scale so in this case <coughs> as i previously discussed that we are not dealing with distance or height it will be zero and v i t plus one by two acceleration due to gravity into t scale so in this case we can say that uh, this body is moving along the vertical direction then it's initial velocity will be in the form of sine of theta v i sine theta into t plus 1 by 2 g t square this acceleration will be in the form of opposite side so acceleration due to gravity will be negative and minus 1 by 2 g t square and if we replace this term this is negative sign and it will come on the, the, uh, this side and it will become positive 1 by 2 g t square is equal to v i sin of theta into t so if we cancel out this time and this time we will only have one time t 1 by 2 g into t is equal to v i sin of theta so we can easily calculate the time from this expression time is equal to uh, vi sin theta over 2g so in this case we can also find out the maximum time what will be the maximum time when theta is equal to 90 degree we can get the maximum time t is equal to v i over 2 g and in the next case we will find out the range of projectile motion in order to find out the range of projectile motion we need to know that what is the relationship of what or what is the definition of range it means that when the body cover at a horizontal distance uh, from this initial point to the final point is known as range of projectile motion and <clears throat> this range can be calculated we know that s is equal to v cross t so this s is a horizontal horizontal distance we can say that this is r is equal to v i this is initial velocity into t time so we know the relationship of vi because this initial velocity in the form of horizontal motion or this uh, uh, this can be seen that vi cos of theta into this is time of flight previously we have seen that what is the time formula of time of flight which is known as vi to vi sin theta over g over g and we can also conclude from this expression that r is equal to vi cos theta into 2 vi sin theta over g and if we to get together with these two terms then it will become v i square this v i and this v i v i square cos theta and sin theta 2 into cos theta and sin theta over g 
from the mathematics we can say that this two vi sin theta and cos theta is equal to sin two theta so the final term will be r is equal to vi square sin two theta over g and again in the intertest we may be asked to find out what it will be the maximum height or what angle we can get the maximum height maximum range of projectile maximum range can be calculated from the angle when this angle is 45 degree 45 degree and if we put this angle v i square sin 2 into 45 over g and it will be v i square sin 90 over g and range become maximum range will be v i square sin 90 is 1 over g and it will be v i square over g so uh, as you have seen that at the angle of 45 degree we can get the maximum range up till now we have discussed about height of projectile time of flight and range of projectile motion up till now we have finished this topic and uh, if you have any question you can come up with new suggestion in the comment box we will see you in the next video bye bye and don't forget to subscribe our channel bye bye